will quickly revise the topic of consignment before we do the remaining problems of this topic. So the objective for the day is to complete the chapter of consignment. Today we will be completing the chapter of consignment. Consignment is unlike normal sale. Normal sale, the trader meets the customer. Consignment sale, the trader doesn't meet the customer. Between the seller and the customer comes an intermediary. What is the name of the intermediary? Very good. The one who is selling the goods is consigner. One who is receiving the goods is consignee. And later it will pass on to customers. Consignor will transfer not the ownership but only the possession. Consignee will have not the ownership but only the goods are received by consignee, sold on behalf of the consignor and money is transferred back to consignor. All the expenses on consignment, whether incurred by consignee or incurred by consignor, has to be borne by consignor. All expenses, whether selling or non selling, should be divided to consignment account. All expenses will be considered in computation of consignment profit. In the valuation of inventory left with consignee, in computation of value of unsold inventory, we will be considering only non selling expenses. Selling expenses will not be considered. After that, we went on to understand that consignee does this for the purpose of commission. Commission that is charged by consignee to consignor is three times. Ordinary, deliberator and ordinary is for the normal course of operations, for the normal sale transactions made by the consignee on behalf of consignor. It can be on per unit basis or percentage basis. Deliberator commission is paid by consignor to consignee to ensure that the risk of bad debts is passed to very good. The risk of balance is passed to consignee. Whenever delicate commission is not paid, unlike any other, uh, sorry, similar to any other expenses, it will be borne by consignee. However, if delicate commission is paid, bad expense will be borne by consignee. Delicate commission again can be given on per unit or percentage basis. And delicate commission is uh, paid uh, on total sales, not only on cash sale or not only on cash sale. Overheading commission is paid by consignor to consignee to to what? For the sale made at the higher price. It is paid only on the surplus. Surplus is actual selling price minus expected selling price. After this, we went on to understand loss, two types of loss, normal loss and <coughs> normal loss in the ordinary course of operations. And this will be adjusted only in units column. There is no journal entry for normal loss. Is there a journal entry that will pass? No journal entry. Only units column will duck. So per unit cost will increase. After normal loss, the per unit cost of the goods will increase. And then we had the discussion with regard to abnormal loss. Whenever we discuss about abnormal loss, there will be amount in the amount column. For the abnormal loss, we have to write journal entry. It is not just adjusted. Am I right? And uh, after abnormal loss, the per unit cost will not increase. Per unit cost will remain the same. Then after normal loss, abnormal loss, then we went on to see accounting. Am I right? So when we discussed accounting, uh, journal entry for uh, who say hey, which uh, you should set this side. You're not setting this side. Mathematics huh? One more person who is it was supposed to come with you here. Can I question you? Come forward. There's so much space. You can also come so forward. You have fifth row or sixth row. There's so much space. Come, come, come. It's fun. You can see the things on the board much more closer. Come forward. You didn't get classes also to see. It'll be better. Rest on the ice will become less. Mitchell is absent today. Oh. Will you give one session? Is it good morning? Hi. It will be easier for me to spot you. Okay. Uh, we will tell you. What is the journal entry for goods and on consignment, everyone? Consignment account debit to? Very good. There is a follow up entry for the same. Goods sent on consignment account debit to consignor. After that, expense is incurred by consignor. Consignment account debit to expense is incurred by consignee. Consignment account debit to consignor. Normal loss? Abnormal loss. Depends whether it is insured or not insured. Not insured. P and A to consignor. Insured? Very good. Sales is made by consignee. Doesn't matter cash or credit, entry will be consignee yeah. to consignee. Then cash is collected from debtors. No entry. No entry in the books of consignor. Bad debts. Depends whether delicate commission is paid or not. What is the entry for bad debts when delicate commission is paid? No entry. When delicate commission is not paid. 
you can write bad debts to consign. But if you write bad debts to consign, oh, sorry, bad debts to uh, bad debts to consign. If you write bad debts to consign, then you'd have to write consignment to bad debts. Or straight away write consignment to consign. That would also. And uh, after this normal loss, everything over. Then you'll ultimately identify the consignment stock, write it, and then find consignment profit transfer to the In consignment ledger, debit side opening stock is written as balance profit. Then could send out consignment. Am I right? Then consignor expense, consignor expense. Here, uh, sales abnormal loss, closing stock. Profit will be formed on the debit side as balance. Sir, what if balance and figure comes on the credit side? Loss. Am I right? Did you all understand? So, we did several questions on this. Come on, let's do one more. Question number 10. Now, you people should not find it unfamiliar or new. You should be very well versed with this. I hope you people are feeling so. 10th one, Vikram Milk Foods. You know what is the uniqueness about this problem? There is more than one type of inventory. Till now, there was only one type of inventory. Now, there is more than one type of inventory. See this. Vikram Milk Foods Company Limited of Vikram Food sent to Sundar Store. So, Vikram Milk Foods is consigner. Sundar Store is consigning. Underline Vikram, Mil Vikram Milk Foods. Right, consigner. Sundar stores, consignee of Sonia Puri. What are they selling? What are they sending? 5000 kgs of baby food. So baby, baby food means not what we Baby food means food that will be given to baby. Okay, okay. I thought babies were packing small, small packets and you Baby food. Got it? They are giving it in two varieties, okay, tins and packets, 2000 tins of net weight 1 kg and uh, 6000 packets of net weight half kg. If it is half kg, they are giving packet, if it is 1 kg, they are giving tin hmm? for the sale on consignment basis. The goods are sent. Come to the last line. What do they want us to do? First read the last line. They want us to do consignment account and consign e account the books of vikram milk uh, vikram milk food uh, company limited assuming that the consignee has paid the amount due for it so consignee has paid the amount there won't be balance carried down if you only buy bank or two bank. paid orders got it now you can write cash also. cash also. let's start consignment account what do you write for this 2000 pins of net paid 1 kg and 6000 packets of net paid 1 kg Consignment account debit to goods and non consignment. But we don't know the value. We don't know the. So, what will I do? In my consignment account, debit set, I will write two goods and non consignment account. Yeah, I will give space for writing those two items. Both the items I will write separately. Hmm? Then, consignee's commission was fixed at 5% of sale proceeds. Consignee is supposed to get commission of 5% on sale. We don't know sales only. Sales you would have to write here, no? After we write sales, we will write commission. You agree with me? Yes. After that. Next. But remember, uh, commission is how much? On what sales? On packet sales or team sales? Total sales. On total sales. The cost price and selling price of the product are as What is cost price? N and 6. N and 6, the moment you write. Do you feel like we should write entry for this? 2000 into 10 and 6000 into 6. That's right. So, 2000 tins of 1 kg each will cost 10 rupees and 6000 packets of half kg each will cost 6 rupees. 6000 into 6, that is 6000 and 2000 into 10, 20,000 together 56,000 rupees. Got this? Yes, what is after this? Is there any expense data? No, not okay. Do we know how many packets are sold? No, we don't. We will wait. We will wait. Consignment was booked on Friday to pay basis. Ooh. What do you mean by to pay basis? <laughs> consignment stock is sent without paying consignors. Consignment stock is sent without paying consignors. Consignor will give the goods to transporter. He will tell my consignee is there. When you give the goods to him, no. He will pay money. When you give the goods to him, he will pay money. Collect money from him then. So, 
Even consigner city say transportation expense is zero, that is paid by consign. But it is non city. It is okay. How much is that expense? And right came to 2% of the selling value. 2% of so when they say selling value, when we compute, no, it should be multiplied by 10 or 15. 15. So the transporter is saying whatever is the selling price of your goods on that 2% is my transformation. Did you get this? Now tell me what is the journal entry? Consignment account debit. Who paid the expense? Consign Consignee's name is Sundar Stores. You need to collect from consignee. How much? Price at 2% of sale price. Tell me how much is price at 2%? 2000 into 15. 6000 into 7. Total into 2%. 2000 tins into 15 rupees per tin. 6000 packets into 7 rupees per packet together whatever the total is there on that 50 on that 2% very good 1000 everyone understood what is after that one case containing 51 kg tins was lost in transit one entire case is lost in transit hello abnormal loss And the transport carrier admitted a claim of 450. This is like insurance. A lot of times when you give goods for transport, transporter will say claim accepted till 400 rupees, claim accepted till 3000 rupees. Meaning if the goods are damaged because of negligence of transporter, he will pay you compensation to the amount that he has promised that he will pay. Are you getting it? In this case, what is the amount that is promised that he will pay? 450 rupees. The goods have been damaged, he will pay. But what is the cost of those 50 kg tins? 51 kg tins which are lost. 50 into 10, 500. We paid 450. There is profit on goods lost. Sorry, loss. Sorry, loss. Loss. Cost. But I have to do that on the credit side. Shall I write your credit side? Stock is going out. So I'll write. Why insurance? Why? How much is the money that is giving? 450. But is there loss? What is the value of those tins? How much is the value? 500. If uh, you deduct this 450, balance will be expense. We will do one working note for this. 1 kg tins. Observe. What is the good sent on consent? How many tins? 2000 tins. At the rate 10, 20,000. You added expenses, consigners. Right. How much? It is consigners' expense paid by consignee. Uh, actually, after adding the expense, we should adjust the loss. It will not be 500, it will be slightly more than 500. Why? Freight is also paid now. First you paid freight. For those goods lost also you paid freight. After you paid the freight, goods got lost. Am I right? How much is the freight expense? 2000 tins into 15 rupees per tin. Market price or selling price into 2%. 600. Say something. So 20,000 plus 600. 20,600. For how many tins? 2000 tins. 20,600 by 2000. How much is the value per day? Now the goods are lost. How many? 50. At 10.3. 550. Cost of goods at consign is city. From the 950 at 10.3. 20,085. 20,085. 20,000. Listen to me carefully. This 515 rupees abnormal loss. Journal entry will be insurance company account debit 450 or transport company account debit 450. How much will it be? 515 minus 450. Five and five, Baba. Five hundred fifteen rupees. In that four fifty rupees cash is this. Sorry, insurance company has to pay, and balance of uh, sixty five rupees will be our loss. Clear? Any doubts? What is after that? Uh, at the end of the first half of the year, following information is gathered from account sales. Sale proceeds. How many are sold? Thousand five hundred one kg tins, four thousand half kg packets. Shall we write here? I'll write here by Sundar's. How much is the good sold on consignment? 
thousand five hundred one kg tins at rupees fifteen. Four thousand half kg packets at rupees seven. Thousand five hundred into fifteen. Very good. Four thousand into seven. Understood? Ah, I forgot one more thing. In our consignment account, I have written two Sundar stores. In consignment account, I have written five Sundar stores. In Sundar stores account, I should write two consignment. No, both sold on consignment. How much? Same thing. And here I will write by consignment for consignee paying that expense of uh, right. How much is that expense that he paid? Thousand four hundred and forty. Here next we know commission. No, we knew the commission percentage. We didn't compute that. Why? We didn't know since. Now shall we compute five percent commission? Entry is consignment expense. It is consignment account debit to consignee. That is Sundar Stores commission. Five percent of twenty-two thousand five hundred plus twenty-eight thousand. How much? Two thousand five hundred. In consignment account, I have written two Sundar stores. In Sundar stores account, I will write five thousand. Commission two thousand five twenty-five. Here, everyone, what is the after this? Mm, that's it. Store uh, rent and insurance charges. This is selling expense, right? Next week, selling expense. Selling expense, six hundred. There is selling expense of six hundred. So what is the entry in in consignment account? I think this is paid by consignee. Entry is consignment account debit to consignee. Correct. Uh, I'll write here only. Write it above. I'll write below that only. Rent and how much is it? <laughs> In our consignee account, I'll write here only rent and insurance. Will this be considered in computation of value of unsold inventory? Answer is no. This will not be considered in valuation of unsold. Then find out the value of closing inventory on consignee. Yes, we we'll do it. Shall we? How many units were sold? Two thousand kgs, two thousand tins. In the domain are sold thousand five hundred. How many are lost? Fifty. What will be? Close me. Four fifty. How many? Four fifty. Okay. Four fifty tens. Correct. How many packets? Six thousand packets were sent. Four thousand are sold. So two thousand. Clear everyone. Four fifty tins and two thousand packets. This is what is being sold. This is what is being left also. We need to find the value of this. How do we find? Shall we continue with that working out whatever we were doing? Yes or no? Or do you want me to teach how to do it in the calculator without uh, doing the working? Should I? Okay. Huh? Both ways. Okay. Now first we'll do tins. First we'll do tins. Uh, take ten rupees in your calculator. Ten rupees no per tin. Take ten rupees in your calculator. M plus. If you ten M plus, then expense. This the expense. Private expense. You cannot take thousand four forty. Thousand four forty is for tins and packets together. You need to segregate them and take. You need to find the value of tins and value of packets separately. We can't identify them together. Did you get this? For tin, how much is the rate? It is fifteen rupees into two percent. Fifteen into two percent. Point three M plus, it becomes ten point three. Am I right? Paka. Then rent and insurance should it be included? No. Any other consignor expense or consignee expense? No. Commission. Illa. Thoda aagi la. Then that said, how many tins were sent? Two thousand. How many are sold? Thousand five hundred. How many are lost? Fifty. Balance is four fifty tins. It is abnormal loss. So rate per unit will not change. It is. Of normal loss, so rate per unit will not change. You got some value on the calculator. Multiply it with four fifty tens. Four thousand five hundred sixty-five. Four sixty-five. Four thousand six hundred thirty-five. Are we playing O C O C? Answer is four thousand six hundred thirty. Very good. Everyone understood this. Very good. Now, <coughs> come on. Let's see the next one. Two thousand packets. Shall we find the value of two thousand packets? Each packet is six rupees. Each packet is 
Take six in your calculator. Memory clear, Madi. MRC M minus. MRC and M minus. Memory recall and M minus. Clear then. Tap the AC button marks. Now take six rupees to memory. That six rupees packet, what is the selling price? Seven. Seven into two percent. Zero point one four. One four. Add it to six. Six point one four. Yes or no? Is there any other expense? No other expense. Is there any uh, what do you say? Law normal loss to be adjusted? No. That is that is per unit rate. We have sent six thousand packets. In that, to four thousand packets are sold. Remaining is two thousand packets into two thousand units. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Add them. 16,915. That is the value. Did you all get it? Yes or no? Didn't get it. It is? In between, it's getting like this. Shall we do the same thing in detail to you people? Absolutely. If in fact we can continue this table only, we would return till here, no? Or abnormal loss, we would return till here. Now deduct how much is the consignment sales? How many units are sold? 1500. Unsold stock is 450. 450 units are 10.3. 4635. Here, see here. What do we have it? Whatever it is. Now we'll do it similarly for half kg packets. How much is the value of goods sent on consignment? 6000 packets at the rate 6. That is 6000. Consigners expense paid by consignee, right? Or two percent of uh, selling price. Six thousand packets. How much is selling price? Seven. How much is price? Two percent. Six thousand into seven into two percent. Eight forty. It will come to thirty six thousand eight forty for six thousand packets. For six thousand packets, it is thirty six thousand. Everyone understood this. Now, how much is per packet rate? Six thirty six thousand eight forty divided by six thousand. Six point. How many packets are sold? Unsold stock, 2000 packets into 6.14. 12,000, what do we have here? 12,000, together 16,915. Did you all get it? Or it can be done even more different. You can do it per packet. Cent is how many? 6,000, 2,000, and 6,000. Last 50, here nothing. Sold, 1,500 and 4,000. Left packets is 450 and 2000. First, compute the number of packets left. This is what we did also when we did in calculator. Cost per unit is 10 and 6. Price, it is selling price into 2%, 15 and 7 into 2%. Here it is 0.3, here it is 0.1. If you add, it becomes 10.3 and 6.1. 450 into 10.3, 2000 into 6.14. Together, 16,900. Is it for that abnormal loss? We can write detailed working out if you want. Abnormal loss is how much? Cost of the goods is 500. Add freight 50. And then uh, how much is the cost of the goods is 550. Insurance company accepted 450. 65 rupees loss. So entry will be insurance company debit 450, p debit 65, consignment 500. Same as what we did. This now we have written everything in our consignment account. We need to find consignment profit. 450 plus 65 plus 2800 plus 28000 plus 6950. What do we get? 67930. Profit of 7365. Very simple. And in consignee account, we cannot write balance carried out. Why? It's settled. So 22,000 plus 28,000, 50,500. Deduct this 1,440 plus 600 plus 2,500. Deduct all of this together. 5,930. That is our cash. By cash. Clear? That's it. We are done. Is the problem or not? Yeah, just the fact is that there are two variants of units in this question. Come on, quickly start writing. I'll give time to write both the lectures, but uh, working note, you'd have to write it. 
I hope you people have updated your notes yesterday. You have come to class after a long time. Two days absent. How many days absent? Four days. Why? I didn't hear you. Sorry. Go oh, write the test. Don't attend here. What time is the test? Then? Past three days you have test. What time? What time is the class? They don't overlap. Do you get it? Do you understand time? Uh -huh. When are we taking class till 2 o'clock? What is bill of exchange? What do you mean by retirement of bill? What do you mean by noting charges? Three questions. Answer. We have test today also. Why? It is because you paid more fees there, that test is more important and this test is less important. If that is the case, then I will ask uh, the academy to open one more refund. Whoever wants to pay more fees, just to make them feel more serious, pay extra fees. Hey, Become fees is more low than CA foundation fees. How much? 15, 20 thousand difference? In fact, more, double. Huh? 1 lakh 70 thousand. 3 times, 4 times. That extra fees, whatever is there, you pay to that box. You put it in that box so that you will get the seriousness. And is that, is that whatever? What you get in that become college so important that you can sacrifice CA class for the same? What is this? What seriousness do you have? Now you tell me how will you learn bills of exchange? How many marks? 100 marks test. 500. 20? 25. 25 marks test was okay. 5 hours you missed 3 days. 15 hours you missed. To read for 25 marks. Is your weighing skill balancing 15 hours of class for 25 marks test? That is also not going like not uh, matching with your class time. It's not matching. It's not like class time only test. How many who else was absent? Three days. Three days, two days. Yesterday absent. Hey, yesterday absent. Why? You? You say you go to seminar, you go to test. Uh, you said you had something important to do. You had something. We didn't have anything important. We are all jobless people. Hey, so many people have any other work to do. Why are you killing your time here coming and sitting in CA position class? Only you had something important to do. What was so important to do that you had to miss the class for the same? Huh? You had to? I asked where were you yesterday, why were you absent? Plan it in a time where the class is not there. Did you do the puja? Huh? Said both of you, not well people. Then they will say I was not well because sir made me stand. Next dina. 25 marks, 400 marks would have to write again. Commitment is very questionable. One thing that you should remember, today is beginning of September. September, October, November. Three months. December also comes, 24th no exam. Okay. It's about 120 days you should study. 
For the same exam, you might find it difficult when you go back home and sit and try to study. No, not just them, every one of you. You will feel like it's okay, I have studied two hours today. Saku. I'll have a little bit of fun. It's okay, 120 days is there, no. I'll do something else. The moment you get up, remind yourself if you can't make yourself sit for 120 days, how will you make yourself sit for 120 days plus about 180 days? It will become more difficult. It is easier to sit for 120 days and finish rather than sitting for 180 days. What will happen if I sit? Will I die? Let's see. That's what you tell yourself to sit. The moment you get up or take the phone or not look at the book, remember you would have to do the same thing what you are doing for 6 more months without feeling good about it. People who passed no in the first year, they are the lazy people, right? They don't want to study again and again. Halwa, <laughs> they don't want to study again and again. They want to finish up in one time. So be lazy, study hard. New perspective. Chana yeah. Sarila Little scroll up. Little more. How about you people watching it online? But three days absent is not acceptable. What do we do? She is talking, busy talking. What do we do? Leave her book there. Leave her book there only. What do we do? Three days. In the past also we had missed no? some days. Then what was the reason? Not well. Not well you will take leave. Festival you will take leave. Going to native you will take leave. And then exam also you will take leave. After all of that, priority number 4 or priority number 5 only see Number 4 or number 5. <gasps> Just imagine you write your friend's name. What? Your friend will write a US 5th or 6th friend. How will your friend feel? <laughs> to make you will feel this, I should tell write the list of your best friends in the order of priority. Yes, Kushi. That is for all the subjects together. But I don't want you people to take that timetable right now. That is because you should do that when your subject is over. I will give it to you people after September 18th. Uh, don't do it right now. Right now is not the time.
Did you get it? Okay. Nice. That's the reason I didn't tell you people about it. How did you get to know? I didn't tell you people. Not ready. Don't see that video. Huh? Notice Boda. Hello, Mahesh. He's talking about which time table? You saw that already. I didn't share it to you people. Uh, don't watch that video. Don't watch that video. I will tell I will tell you what to watch when. I will tell. The reason is it's like this. You don't have something. You will always want it. You will work hard. Play, listen, you, you want one, you want one toy, you want, you want one remote control car, you want one drone to fly, or you want one uh, gun. You have some, some toy that you want one PS5 or something. You have one craving for one uh, toy or uh, some article to play. So, you, if you don't get it, you will keep it in your vision board, you will keep it as your mobile wallpaper. Like you will aspire to achieve it. Are you getting it? When you get it, you enjoy. Like, yes, you, are, you feel happy. You feel you feel like okay play playing playing with a toy. You get this no? Just imagine you have it, but you don't have time to use it. So that happiness is gone and you're not even playing with it. If someone is trying to give you like I already have one. But you have time to play. No. So you should buy something when you can use it. If you don't have time to use it, you should not buy it. It's not about money. Money might be yours, the resource is not yours. By not having it, you still have love towards that product. By having it but, but not using it, you lose the love towards the product also. You won't even enjoy it. So, that's the easiest way to kill happiness. Easiest way to kill happiness. Having it but not using it is the easiest way to kill the happiness that you get with that product. So, whatever idea you get if you see that video in the next 24 hours you should make your time table from 4th, from 25th hour you should be following the time table now you don't have time you have college and 5 hours class where will you apply the time table where is your time to make time table so you will see that video you will download that you know the idea but you will not take make time table for the next 15 20 days you won't make time table 21st day what is the motivation to do time table nothing why you knew the data 20 days ago what is something new that's happening on September 19th for you to do timetable? Nothing. There is no adrenaline rush. That day idea is not an idea because you already know it. But do you have timetable? No. Why? 18 days I didn't have timetable. What is the point of having now? So you won't have any spark. You get it? So let me complete the syllabus. Then I'll tell you to watch the video. Then you watch the video. Then you make the timetable. Then you will be like something that Osa Osa feel there. You get this. Feel of freshness. Ha, huh, yeah, got it. understood question. I share it. I asked how did you people get to know? Uh, that day we had called last batch pass out people to talk. When they were talking, they told no. I'm a very bad YouTuber, no? <laughs> Don't watch this video. Don't watch this video. One more video, someone had sent a snippet in that tone. I have told, okay, don't like this. You don't have to share or subscribe also. Once you watch this, shut up, keep your phone down, and then go start working. People will get offended and then abuse. Who the hell are you to tell me to stop using phone? I can use my phone. You are, your father didn't pay for my, ele my electricity bill and internet bill. Okay, my father didn't pay, but your father will also pay you one more exam attempt fee. Good luck with that. Your pen, your exam fee, you write exam once again. I will get more views again. Why are you writing exam again? Again you will watch. Come on. Shall I scroll down? Can I go to the next question?
a working note which child do people like the working but second one is possible only for this problem for other problems you can't do it for all other problems you should do like this first table only table 1 table 2 this is small one you can leave one side of a page it will be sufficient or maybe if you want you can write you can leave two sides of a page to do working note and we are now starting with illustration number 11 mehta mehta chala Shall we do Mehta question? I like that song. Mehta Anton song. Go with Mehta. Mehta chala, Mumbai chala, consignment kare unya. Have you heard? Manzar Maya. Uri movie, no? Yes, read this. Sri Mehta of Mumbai. Consigns 1000 cases of goods costing 1000 is to Sri Sundaram of Chennai. Underline Mehta, right? Consigner. Consigner. Sundaram? Consigni. Oh, one more song is there, Mehta. I remember that. Mehta, oh Mehta. What do they want? Come to the last line. They want you to draw a consignment account and Sundaram account. Sundaram is Kanjaini. So there is two ledgers. One is consignment account, second one is Kanjaini account. Shall we draw? Very good. One day if I die, they will say cause of death. Killed for singing songs wrongly. And a thousand cases. Costing rupees? Thousand each. Thousand square. How much is thousand into thousand? Can I write in consignment account? Two goods sent on consignment. 1000 into 1000, 10 lakh. Okay. After that, expenses paid by whom? Consigner, carriage, freight, loading. 10 plus 30 plus 10, 50. Consignment account debit to cash. Consigner's expense, carriage, freight, loading. 10 plus 30 plus 10. Is this right? What is after that? Sri Sundaram sells 700 cases at rupees 1400 per case. What is the entry for sales? Consignee account debit to consignment account. Consignee account debit to? In consignment account, I will write by Sri Sundaram consignee. Goods sold on consignment. How many cases? 700 cases. At the rate, 1400. 700 cases into 1400. 9,80,000. What is after that? Expenses are incurred by consignee. What expenses are paid? Clearing charges, warehousing and storage, packaging and selling, 8500, 17000 and 6000. Entry is, in our consignment account, I will write, to consignee account, Sri Sundaram, consignee's expense. Clearing charges, warehousing and storage, packaging and selling. How much is clearing charges? Very good. How much is warehousing and storage? How much is packaging and selling? 6000. Clear? What is after this? It is found that 50 cases have been lost in transit and 100 cases are still in transit. Sir, what do we do? Very simple. 50 cases lost in transit, you know how to deal. If the remaining cases have reached the consignee, if it is not sold, we will write it as balance carried on. Here, this is not balance carried on. Or it is balance carried on, but the stock is not with consignee. It is neither with consignor nor with consignee. It is in between both of us. It is still travelling. It is on road. Are you getting it? Yes sir. No. So what do we write? We will write uh, stock with consignee. We will write Gita below that. Goods in transit account. We will not write that value as there with consignee. It is still in transit. We will write Gita. Balance carried on when you write no. We will write the stock with consignee and then Gita. Goods in transit account. Gita, goods in transit account. Gita, goods in transit. G I T A. A is account. We will just show the separation. Separate line item will be. What? 
there is a chapter by name branch accounting when you will do in ca inter it is like this here what happens you appoint agent there you open one branch you appoint manager you appoint staff and they will sell it is extended part of your business so there geeta will be there goods in transit goods are sent by head office not received by branch it still in between and along with geeta there is one more thing called sita cash in transit account cash is sent but cash is not received cita cash in transit account character no? yeah sir he ma ma la this is not so like he ta si ta ye ma ma la illa okay we don't have to do that instead of writing just balance kadon we'll write it show two two separate ones one is geeta other one is goods with consign okay ashta sundaram is entitled to commission at 10% on sales shall we write entries sales will write period first we have here goods sold on consignment 9 lakh 80 commission will be 9 lakh 80 into 10% 98000 now come on let us compute the value of that uh, abnormal loss goods sent on consignment 1000 cases at 1010 lakh consignors expenses carriage freight loading how much carriage freight loading together 10 lakh 50 for 1000 cases very good now let's deduct abnormal loss how much is the abnormal loss in this 50 value 10 lakh 50 divided by 1000 is 1050 for 50 cases 1050 rupees per case 50 to 1000 is there any insurance claim no insurance claim come on let us write in consignment account i'll write by pnl very good working note number 152500 loss yeah. okay what's after that how many cases are uh, this goods lost in transit how many cases are still in transit 100 this is also at 1050 now what will this be 1 lakh 5000 this also i'll write here it is sent so it is there in part of this 1000 cases but it will not be part of balance carried on. so what do we write in between we'll write balance carried on only stock in transit how much 1 lakh 5. or if you want you can write here by geeta 1 lakh 5 balance carried on with consign how much is stock in consign is good we'll write it separately shall we how much is the stock in consign is good in 1000 50 gone and 100 gone consign is city it will be 850 and then consign is incurring some expense correct ah sir why don't you add that expense for goods still in transit hey Consignee will incur expense for the goods that he receives. Without he receiving the goods, how can he pay transportation expense? From where is the consignor sending? Mumbai. Where is the consignee receiving? Chennai. Goods are still in Bhopal. Sorry, Mumbai in the Chennai borough. Can Bhopal? Goods are still in Bangalore. Goods are still in. It's not yet come Chennai. Chennai. Once it comes to Chennai, okay. Portal bandi thera. Beta. Let's say it's coming by road only. Let's say it's coming by road. So when it's coming by road, it's in Bangalore goods. Chennai from Chennai uh, railway station to that guy's factory should incur transportation expenditure, loading expenditure. How will he incur that when the goods have not yet reached Chennai? After the goods come to Chennai, then he will do unloading, loading, transportation, everything. So this clearing house, clearing charges of eight thousand five hundred, these expenses cannot be incurred on those goods. However, these two will not be considered. Only eight thousand five hundred will be considered. Shall we add that consign is clearing charges expenses of eight thousand five hundred? Say something. This is the only non-selling expense. So how much is it? Eight fifty. Nine lakh one thousand. Nine lakh one thousand by eight fifty. Thousand sixty. How much is sold? How many units are sold? Seven hundred. So closing stock is for one fifty cases. One fifty cases are thousand sixty. One lakh fifty nine. Here we'll write balance carried on one lakh fifty. If you don't want, I'll not write balance carried on. I'll write here by Geeta. Do you want me to write by Geeta? Is that fine? It will be included in our closing stock, but we won't write it as stock with consignee. We'll write as stock in transit. Did you get it? Yes, that's it. Everything's over. We need to find profit or loss. I think this side looks to be more. No, sorry again. I couldn't adjust it. Nine eighty plus fifty two five hundred plus one lakh five plus one lakh fifty nine. Twelve lakh ninety six 
How much is the profit and loss account balancing figure? Profit and loss account balancing figure. One lakh seventeen thousand. That's the profit. And uh, whatever we wrote in consignment account, opposite side you need to write on consignment consignment account also. What is the expenses paid by consignment? Eight thousand five hundred seventeen thousand and six thousand. So we'll write that by consignment clearing charges we are seeing on this expense. Eight thousand five hundred seventeen and six. And then we have uh, commission to be paid ninety eight thousand. Let me write commission. Consignment is commission ninety. And then sales made by consignment nine lakh eighty. I'll write here two consignment goods sold on consignment nine lakh eighty. Identify the balance and figure here. Add all of these nine lakh eighty. Eight lakh fifty thousand five hundred is balance carried out. That is the money consignment should still give us. He has not given, so it will be like that. Easy, pakka. Copy this. Then uh, for a change, I'll make you do Raj of Gwalior question in the class. Let's see how many of you will do it. Copy this. Copy this. Quick, quick, quick. Copy ಸಂತಸ್ ಬಿಸಿ ಮಾಡಿ ತಗೊಂಡು ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ Uh, no, not required. If you understand, it's good. But in the class notes, you please write so that when you're revising, you don't find anything. Mm -hmm. ಓಕೆ 
line seven. And then exact line. Nine seventy eight to thousand. Thirty two, thirty five lines. No, twenty twenty five lines are there. Ledger over, time over. Okay. Never heard that song, Vikyat. Huh? Other than the Ava Gonsadi Marsid. I will show later. Okay, everyone, come on. Let us now do question number 12. Conjoinment Siraj of Delhi, Raj of Valia. Siraj, Siraj Mia. Siraj. Okay, read. Illustration number 12. Raj of Gwalior consigned 15,000 kgs of ghee at 50 rupees per kg. Sorry, 30 rupees per kg. To his agent, sir, 30 is very cheap. Okay. Ghee, ghee means tupa. Tupa, 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 beka, tupa. He is paid. <laughs> <laughs> 5 rupees per kg has pride and insurance for sending the ghee at Delhi. Okay. On the way, 100 kgs of ghee was lost due to leakage. <laughs> this is to be treated as what happened? Normal loss. What happened? Tupa. Nandini Tupa. <laughs> oh God! GRB tupa, Nandini tupa. So many tupas are there. You guys are getting weird ideas. Ah, listen. Hundred kgs normal loss, and four hundred kgs was destroyed in transit. Four hundred kgs was destroyed. This is abnormal loss, and nine thousand was paid to consigner directly by the insurance company as insurance claim. Siraj told seven thousand five hundred kgs. At 60 rupees per kg, spend 33,000 on advertisement and recurring expense. You are required to calculate abnormal loss, value of stock, prepare consignment. If they would have asked us to do just prepare consignment account, we will obviously value abnormal loss. We will also value the stock at the year end. And we will also prepare, what to say, identify profit. So they have asked everything separately. It's okay, we will do it. Commission is at what rate? 5%. Shall we start? Should I solve now? Okay, in consignment account, I will write two goods sent on consignment. How much is sent? 15,000 kgs at 30 rupees. 15,000 into 30. 4 lakh 50,000. After that, expense incurred by consignor 5 rupees per kg and uh, that is insurance and pride together. I will write two cash, consignor's expense, pride and insurance. 15,000 kgs at rupees 5 per kg. How much is that? Huh? 75,000. After that, what do we have? Uh, now, normal loss, abnormal loss. We will adjust normal loss, abnormal loss and then go to our uh, sales and then identify closing stock. Before that, consignee expense is also after normal and abnormal loss. Why? Consignee will receive the goods, then he will incur expense. Loss is happening in transit. Loss is not happening in go -down. If the loss was happening in go -down, then what is it that we would have done? After consignee's expense, we would have adjusted loss. How much is goods sent on consignment? 15,000 kgs at 30 per kg. 4 lakh 15. Now, how much is consignor's expense? Pride and insurance. 75. 5 lakh 25. Now, how much is the abnormal loss here? How many kgs? 100 kgs. This is 15,000 kgs. 400 kgs on the abnormal loss. Hey. Huh. 
see ICA metal may what they do is first they are adjusting abnormal loss and then they are doing normal loss. Sir, why? The question is, see abnormal loss is something that we can't keep in, uh, that, that we should have controlled, but we have not controlled. Over and above that when normal loss happens, always ICA it as abnormal loss first and then normal loss. Practically we should do like whatever has happened first. It is not what is given first, what is happened first. Why have they given normal loss first? They have given normal loss first because it is obvious and expected. It is obvious then and we are doing abnormal loss and then we will adjust normal loss because of one reason. Whenever we do abnormal loss, rate per unit does not change. Rate per unit and then we will do normal loss. So, normal loss will obviously affect the rate. If in case we first do normal loss, rate per unit will increase. So, that abnormal loss will also increase. Are you getting what I am trying to tell? So, why do why does that normal loss impact in increase in the value? For example, if you want 100 kgs of ghee in your godown, you would have to order for 105 kgs, 106 kgs because 4, 5 kgs will get lost in the process. Are you getting it? In the process abnormal loss if it is happening, will you keep abnormal loss also in count for ordering? No, abnormal loss is something that can be handled. Do you agree with me? So, you expected that abnormal loss goods to be reached to you, reaching you safely. But for some malfunctionings, for some planning, this has happened. So, abnormal loss should not get affected because of normal loss. Abnormal loss should not get affected because of, did you get this? So, that is the reason why abnormal loss is treated first by ICA. So, we will also do the same. Shall we? If you want a simpler logic, if you first do normal loss, per unit rate will increase. Correct or not? Abnormal loss amount will amount will become more. If you do abnormal loss first and then normal loss next, abnormal loss amount will be same as what is given in the question. It will not be a new amount that we will find. So, we will continue to do abnormal loss first and then normal loss. Did you all get this? How much is abnormal loss? 400 cases. So, here 5,25,000 divided by 15,000. How much is it? 35. 400 into 35. 14,000. Now, deduct this. What is this goods lost in transit? 14,600, 5 lakh 25 minus 14 is 5 lakh 11 and rate will be 35. Rate will be, now when I deduct normal loss of 100 kgs, it will become 14,500, amount column will not get deducted here. This 5 lakh 11,000 will appear here. So, now rate is 5 lakh 11,000 divided by 14,500. Now, did you understand? Rate increased. Did you get it? If we would have done this first, rate would have increased and abnormal loss would be recorded at increased value. For goods that is lost, why do you want to include normal loss in abnormal? Then you are actually computing loss on loss. You are computing loss on the goods that are lost. That value is eaten by good units. Good units should be the units that you receive in Kodo. Good units should not be the units that you lose in the transit. Are you getting it? However, if one loss is in transit, one loss is in good out, then you will do it that way. If both are happening together. ICA says do abnormal loss first. You say, okay, why? First A abnormal loss, then normal loss, N. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K, L, M, N. First A, then N. Tell me how much is the consignment sales? 7,500. How many units are left? 7,000 units are 35.24. 2,46,690. Come on here. Let's do it here. Let me write here by Siraj for goods sold on consignment. How many units are sold? 7,500 at 66,000. 60,000. 60 per kg. 4,50,000. Very good. Then that abnormal loss also we have to write. No PNL. Is it insured? How much is the insured? 9,000. What is the value of loss? 14,000. Huh? Now, 14,000 is a loss. 9,000 is insurance claim. How much do I write here? 14 minus 9. 5. 5. 5 plus 9. 14. 6,000. 6,000. If you did not understand, we will do working note. Observe. Nimgoskara. Cost of goods lost. How much? 14. Insurance claim. 9. Loss to be charged to pay deal. 5. Entry is insurance company account debit 9000, PL account debit 5000, to consignment 14000. Clear?
and in consignment account, I will write by insurance by PL 9 and 5. By insurance by PL 9 and 5. Am I right? What is after that? He spent 33,000 on advertisement and recurring expenses. Entries consignment account debit to Siraj account. Advertisement and recurring expenses. How much is advertisement and recurring? 33,000. Commission. Commission is how much percentage? 5%. 5% of 4,50,000. 22,000, that's it. 4,50,000 plus 5 plus 9. 4,64,000. No, I think there is loss. 4,50,000 plus 75. 5,25,000. 5,25,000 plus 33. 5,28,000. 5,58,000. 5,68,000. 5,68,000. 5,68,000. Oh, we have not written closing inventory only. Closing balance. Did we finish that working note? Yes, so much 246. Sorry. 246, 690. How much? Now tell me the total. Sorry, Aita. 450 plus 5 plus 9 plus 246, 690. Now it's correct. Ah, now tell me how much is the profit? 1 lakh 1000. Ashta. EG, not EG. Only thing that we should remember is first we would have to adjust that abnormal loss and then normal loss. Why? If in case I first to do normal loss, per unit rate will increase. And then if I take abnormal loss, abnormal loss is not taken at 35. Abnormal loss is taken at a rate higher than 35. It is okay. Loss can be more than 35. But why is it increased? Because of normal loss. How can you include normal loss in abnormal loss? Then you are computing loss on loss. You are computing loss on abnormal loss is there no 400 units, 400 kgs. For that 400 kgs, you are computing the rate per kg including abnormal loss. That is not correct. Are you getting it? Do you understand the logic? Fantastic. That's it. So, once you copy this, I have one last concept to teach you people. That is, what about, what do you mean by invoice price? Why does the concept of invoice price come? Once you do the concept of invoice price, we will do the next two, three, four questions and that will be end of the chapter. Okay, chalo, copy quick, copy quick, Raj of Gwalior. Huh? Six? Six, eighty, but ten rupees difference, but first normal loss, first abnormal loss here. Oh, here, uh, 35.24, if you do, you will get this much. Ah, that's okay, ten rupees. Don't worry. In chance, friend is absent today also. What happened to one more good Prakruti or Nisarga? Nisarga. What happened? Don't know. Not your friend. Sarga, if you are watching this session, Sijana just told that you are not her friend. Tell him, don't tell her. Don't tell her. I will not tell her. No, no. She didn't. Sijana didn't tell Not your friend. Not tell her. Why? Oh, the one, other one, the one next to Sinchanam, sorry, the one next to Nisargam, one more girl was there. What's that there? Sakshi, Sakshi is not your friend. Sakshi, good day, you are not hearing this. Sinchana is just telling that Sakshi thinks I am afraid. Saying that in Sheshali Brunch, there are wins, brother and sister. 
both of them come to class. So brother was absent one day. Sister had come. I asked that why did your brother not come? He told me like I don't know. Then next day the brother came. I told him, "Naka pa bandila, poor sir, what you know?" Pusha again. So I told him, I told him, "Hey, you told me watching TV and then sitting at home." Oh, sorry, you told me not to tell that to me. I return the chocolate or what you will get. ियोग्राफ्लास्टर He, I met him towards the end of the stream, and then I go. Then she is walking. And I explain that for Akash, for the brother, for the children, they come. Look at that area, sir. Who are not there? There is a beautiful stream. There is a beautiful stream. Done. Can I scroll down? Oh, and thank you for yesterday. It was so nice for seeing you. Till the end of the series, so really nice. The vibe, the vibe. Dan, think of something nice for last one week, September some twelfth to eighteen. Get some something like a spectrum week. Mohan will dance. Mohan will dance. Last day, Mohan dance performance. <laughs> Huh? Last nine days, nine tests. <coughs> Can I scroll down? When is your B Com College getting over? And then they are giving semester holidays. Huh? Semester break from November first. <laughs> Oi, tamba, tamba. If you people continue talking, I will ask Anna to get a consignment question paper. If you are quiet, I will ask him to get bills of exchange question paper. If you talk too much, I will ask him to get both the question papers. Then you decide. 
I have told him consignment question paper for tomorrow, bills of exchange question paper for today. Not a parala. But we did. Not a parala. Not a average due date. Tomorrow is average due date. Shall we do the next concept? What do you want to write? Working on. Garja ke liko 1037 to 1065. 27 likes. Okay. Shall we now understand the concept of invoice price? Can I have your undivided attention, people? Will you people please stop talking? Why? No, Rakshit Shetty had texted in the morning. He told like some uh, some cool promotion. I told I am off late, not very active on social media, very less active. So, what will I do? Huh? No, I am doing now. What I am doing now is full promotion. Sing that song so many times that everyone will hear, it will go into their mind and then. Okay. I felt sorry, bro. I can't do it because if everyone watches your movie, then they won't be able to write well in the examination. Okay, now listen. Whenever consigner sends the goods to consignee, consignee in his pro forma invoice is giving full information. Consigner in his pro forma invoice is giving all of this is over. Ha! Huh. Consigner is giving full information about the cost and selling price. So consignee knows. When consignee knows selling price and cost price, consignee doesn't just know how much commission he is getting. Consignee is also knowing how much profit consignee is making. If there is one thing that you should keep secret in the business, it is profit. You should never disclose the profit. Do you get it? So whenever you also want to go buy something, let's say you go, you buy, you like one very nice dress. So you'll ask how much. They will say 3000 rupees. If you go, you will ask, sir, 2500. If you go with your mom, mom will ask 500 rupees. <laughs> Give it or no, 500. Okay, 550. But you at least bargain, say 2000 or 2500, you start bargaining. Let's say you tell 2000. That shopkeeper will say, ma'am, I only won't get it for 2500, lesser than 2500. I only bought it for 2500. Yeah, at least. Rent 100 rupees profit, 2600 you give. You will be like, no, 2000. You will say, okay, ma'am, you look, look, my sister. Raksha Pandan festival, you take 2500 for you. No cost, no profit. I am selling it at cost to cost. That's how they lie and then sell, no? When they sell it for 2500, you will understand that it was 500 rupees. He made 2000 profit. That's, see, that's the business tactic. Everyone has to do the same. You should never ever disclose your profit. Why? If you disclose your profit, they will not let out so much money if it is a customer. If it is this intermediary, why will he remain consignee? Why would he want to work for commission when he knows how much profit it's, may, it's possible to make in that? What would they do? They would quit. He would quit the position of consignee. He will start becoming a trader and he will start selling. Now, it is not, you have not just created a problem of filling up the gap of consignee. You also created competition. You also created, how did you create competition? By disclosing the profit margin that you made. So, a lot of times when somebody asks, how is business going? Say, yeah, business is here. Yeah. let's say, your work is only nice. Employment is good. Every month you will count salary. Ours is very difficult. Though you make profit, you don't want to tell. Why? You don't want that bad eye. You don't want people to say, hey, business, hey, company, you know. Same, consigner doesn't want the consignee to know his profit margin. But he should lie. If he doesn't lie, you know what would happen? Some people will try and find out the truth. So, lie is told to hide the truth. If you tell how much profit, I will not tell. Then the other person will become curious. They end up finding it. 
So you should tell lie. If the cost is 100, selling price is 150, profit is 50. If you don't tell, if someone asks how much is the cost of this product, you sorry sir, I can't tell this to you. I, I can't disclose this to you sir. If you tell that people will figure it out somehow that it is costing is 100 and then selling price is 150, 50 rupees is profit. So what should you be doing? You should tell cost, cost is 130 rupees or 20 rupees profit. The transportation expense, commission, overhead, electricity bill, water bill, everything together it will be hardly left with 1-2 rupees profit. So you should tell like that. So consigner is doing this. So here is cost. Here is selling price. In between, you will tell one fake selling price. You will tell one fake. That fake selling price is nothing but invoice price. What is that fake selling price? So, you will say, how much is it? Cost is 100. Selling price is 150. You will tell the consignee, cost is 130. Cost is 130. In the 10 rupees, I will give commission you only. 140 rupees. 150 rupees, 10 rupees I get. I get as much money as you get as commission. In that commission, I need to handle your expense. My expense, take the risk of bad debts and everything. Secretly, you made profit of 30 rupees already. Secretly, you made profit of 30 rupees. But what the consignee knows is that you made 10 rupees profit. Without he knowing, you made 30 rupees profit. Together, you made 40 rupees profit. Do you get this? By looking at this consignee, you will be like, oh, it is all loss. I am only happy. I will just sell the product, take 10 rupees commission. And it will continue to be consignee for life. So, what consigner does is, consigner will inflate the cost price and then give it to consignee at an increased price. This is not selling price. This is the price mentioned in the invoice. This is called as invoice price. What is it called as? Invoice price is cost price plus load. Invoice price is cost price plus load is small increase over and above cost price. And to this invoice price, we will add the disclosed profit margin and that is how we get selling price. Our profit is Load plus disclose margin. Load plus disclose margin. Both together forms our profit. Cost plus profit will be our selling price. Cost plus profit will be our. Everyone understood this? Say something. Fantastic. Now, what we need to do is in our consignment account, you should find profit. Why do we prepare consignment account? To find profit. You tell me opening stock of goods with consignee. Goods sent on consignment, unsold stock with consignee. All of this should be written at cost price or invoice price or selling price. What should I, what price should I write all of that? I should write all of that at cost price. I should write sales at selling price. That's when I will be able to find the profit. But I have given the goods to consignee at invoice price. My pro forma invoice mentions invoice price. So I would have to write consignment account debit to goods sent on consignment at invoice price. If goods and on consignment is at invoice price, my closing inventory also will be at invoice price. Now tell me what will I find when I write cost, when I write all other items at invoice price and selling price. What I find as balance in figure in my consignment account is disclosed margin, not correct profit. So what should I do to find correct profit? I should change that goods and on consignment to cost price. I should change that closing stock of inventory to cost price. I should change all of it. Can I change it? No, entry is already made. It cannot be changed. So, what do we do? On the debit side, we write goods sent on consignment. It should be cost 100, but written 120 invoice price or 130 invoice price. I should deduct 30 rupees load, but I cannot deduct. So, what do I do? I write on the credit side. I write on the credit side of consignment account, I write load of 30. So, 130 I write on debit, 30 I write on credit, difference will be 100. So, cost is correctly adjusted. So, whenever goods are sent to consignment at invoice price, goods sent, opening stock, closing stock, everything will be at invoice price. We need to remove the load on the opposite side. Opening stock is on the debit, load is removed on the credit. Goods sent on consignment is on the debit, load is removed on the credit. Closing stock of inventory is on the credit, load will be removed on the debit. Always load will be removed on the opposite side of consignment account. Load will be removed on opposite side of Everyone understood? Fantastic. Have a look at this. We will write balance brought down. Stock with consignee. Balance carried on is stock with consignee at the end of the year. Balance brought down is stock with consignee at the beginning of the year. Cost of goods and on consignment. We will write to cash or bank. Consignor's expense. To consignee's expense we will write. We will write sales by consignee. We will write abnormal loss if there is any. And then we will write consignee's commission, closing balance and profit. Is this our usual consignment account? Anything new in this? Anything unfamiliar or anything difficult to understand? You understood till here? 
here this balance brought down stock with consignee will be at invoice price will be at what price cost. how do you bring it down to cost price deduct load deduct on the credit side i'll write load that load will be written as stock reserve what will it be written as stock. on the opening stock i'll write stock reserve because this stock with consignee is the balance brought down this would be appearing in the balance sheet this would be appearing in the balance sheet asset side balance sheet asset side instead of writing the inventory at 100 by mistake we are writing at 130 that 30 rupees is profit that we have not earned which is recorded once the product is sold we learn that 30 rupees profit so that 30 i will remove it in the liability side by writing it as stock reserve wake him up open your eyes one next to our what's your name Nityana, one next to you. What, sir? Kanmuch kondo sakta sakta. Where are you? You are not here. I saw. Why do you rate stock reserve? Ah, stock reserve will look at that. Credit side. Stock reserve will appear in balance sheet liability side. Because balance sheet asset side inventory which should be at 100 is at 130. That 30 rupees is increased because of the profit we have not earned. It is not earned. Goods are not yet sold. So that 30 rupees profit is not actually profit. So we write debit side stock reserve. Sorry. Uh, liability side stock reserve. Liability side in balance sheet stock reserve. Are you getting it? That is a profit which is not earned. Yeah. Only like that. Goods and on consignment. This will also be at invoice price. On this, should we remove load? Yes. Can I write stock reserve? No. Stock reserve is only on opening and closing balance. On this, I will write by load on goods and on consignment. Goods and on consignment is there, no? I will write load on goods and on consignment and remove load on the same. And in our consignment account, credit side, we have closing balance at invoice price. That load also will be removed in the consignment account debit side as. Did you all get this? Have a look at this. So, same consignment account what we read previously. Only the fact is that opening balance, goods and on consignment and closing balance is instead of being at cost, it's at invoice price. We remove the load on that invoice price to bring them back to cost. Clear? Come on. For effort, copy this table and copy this before the table, copy this and then the table. Then we'll start doing questions. This is the last topic, last variety of questions that we'll be doing in consignment. One question and then break or break and then one question. Sir, you can break the whole break. First break the whole break, sir. I no talking. Excuse me, guys. Please stop talking. Guarantee one question. Madhe koral break you hotu. Ingela matar Yes, sir. Abnormal loss, if it is at invoice price, we should remove the invoice price load first. Then for the cost, we will write adjustment to P&L and uh, insurance company. So instead, what do we do? Abnormal loss, we will do the adjustment at cost only. We will not do it at invoice price. You can write abnormal loss at invoice price. If you write abnormal loss at invoice price in the credit side of consignment, first load has to be removed on the debit side. Then that cost part has to be shared between insurance company and P&L, whatever. So basically, we'll write load at both sides. Why right? We'll do at cost. If you want, I'll make you write one statement. Abnormal loss will be adjusted at cost price. Yes, MTV Super 
Done writing that? Okay, come on. Let me scroll. Write consignment account. Visible clearly? How many more questions left? We did till twelfth one, no? Did you finish writing? Break and then writing or writing and then break. One more question and then break. One question more to break the whole of This is okay. Okay, that's fine. We will take break. And after break, we will do question number 13, 14. 15, 16, 17th one can be striked off. You can cancel that question. 
not relevant and not required. It will complex and to solve it, we need to make one correction in the question. Bay down. To compensate that one question that we are removing, I will give you three more questions. From the past exams. For you to practice. You are sad now that I removed one question. So to make you people happy, I gave you three questions. It works like that only. If you lose one, you will get three. For example, there was one carpenter who wanted wood. He went to the jungle to cut the wood, cut the tree. He was sitting on the tree which was leaning towards the river and then he was cutting. Then axe fell into the water. Then, oh my god, my axe is gone. Then a goddess will come from the water. She will show. Yeah. Hold an axe and then ask. Then ask, is this your axe? You will say, no, it is not mine. Then she will get silver axe. You say, no, this is also not mine. Then she will get, oh, oh my god, this is mine. Then God will say, I like your honesty. Take all three. <laughs> the axe perfume. <laughs> the axe and linen pavate. Before COVID, when we were doing batch, there was one guy when a Parshram in class. Non online batch, face to face batch. So one day I asked, What's your name? He told Parshram. Okay. Oh, axe man. Axe man. He liked it. Actually, he was yelled at because he was not copying what's there on the board and he was talking to your neighbor. I told, Why are you talking to your neighbor? What's your name? It was Sir Parshrams. I told, Hey, Axe Man. He turned right. Then he became full famous in class. Everyone stopped calling him Parshram. No one knew his name. Everyone started calling him Parshram. Axe Man, Axe Man, Axe Man. Who only that guy who sits one row before Axe Man, that guy who sits one row after Axe Man. That, that people who sit in the opposite side of Axeman, Axeman's side, non Axeman side it became. And he became so famous that he changed his Instagram name from Varushuram to Axeman. From being, what to say, awkward introvert who doesn't talk to anyone, comes with oil head, who came to full guy with spikes and like Axeman. Full stylish. Same. Uh, Hello, we'll take break. It is 10 o'clock, 3 minutes. See you by 10 35. Make a bad here. You should be back in class now. By the time break ends. Hello, take a break, guys. Take a break. <laughs> 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 